I've always gravitated more towards the darker side. When it came to the center look, I really wanted to hone in on the sensuality of it. There's a certain dark romance that comes with the smoky eye. I start off with the high voltage primer and smoky. Prep and prime is equally as important as the actual application of the color. And for me, I've always wanted to create a very unique eye primer. Some of the ingredients are actually derived from volcanic ash. With a smoky eye, this primer is essential. Up next, the Metal Orchestra palette. I want to use Lucifer first as a little bit of a base closer to the eyelid. It would look really pretty to use the color Techno in this one. First Class is a really great highlighter. It's really important to blend as much as possible in order to get that smooth gradation. I can add a little bit of an extra shine and sparkle by dipping into the Slayer Cream. It just looks so much like metal or chrome, and I'm like, well, it doesn't get more metal than Slayer. Honestly, my favorite part about this tattoo liner is just the amount of preciseness that you can get from the brush. I'm a perfectionist uh, by default, and I think that just comes from tattooing for so long. It's like every line has to be perfect. To be able to achieve like that perfectly pointy cat eye, this is definitely the tool. I think my favorite parts of the uh, high frequency mascara, it's not that it just lengthens and thickens your eyelashes, but it actually curls it too. Coral Castle is probably my favorite out of all of the nude shades that I have. Its peachy undertones will definitely complement the blues in the Metal Orchestra palette. Probably my favorite thing about the entire line in general is like, it's definitely an easy way to bring out the sexy and sensual romantic side of a woman, for sure.